So for all of you watching on YouTube or Facebook or Twitter, please remember again to share your photos um, with us if you can do. We do um, weekly activities um, for everybody. So um, yeah, have fun. I'll hand it over to Tony now. Thank you, Tony. Hello, everybody. So the second activity we're going to do is the coloured salt sensory play, or you can use it into a jar as well. And I've got sayings, it's really fun, really simple to do. Most of these ingredients you might have in your cupboards anyway. So what we're going to need for this is we're going to need some salt, we're going to need some food colouring or some paint and a Ziploc food bag. I wrote on the presentation, but you can actually just put it straight into a tub or a bowl, whatever you prefer to use, that's okay. So step one, what we're going to do is we're going to begin by adding our salt and we're going to add this into either the Ziploc bag or it's straight into your tub. I'm going to use a tub for mine today. And we're going to just add that in. I haven't put on the presentation an actual measurement. I just simply just throw it all in and see how we get on, to be honest. So I'm just going to put my, sub my salt into my tub. Show you there. There's my salt into the tub. And then what we're going to do is add in the food colouring or the paint. I have it on there that you can massage it in with your fingers. But what I've experienced this morning is you can just do it with your it's even easier. It doesn't go on your hands and you don't get the mess. But obviously, if you have got sensory seekers at home that like to mess with that sensory texture, then Obviously, you're more than welcome to massage the colour into the salt. So I'm just going to get my blue food colouring and I'm going to add into the salt. You only need a few drops, to be honest. And obviously, your tell if the colour is starting to bind. And if you need to add more in, then just a little bit more in. And if you're doing it from a bag, you just obviously open up your bag, you're going to place your salt into the bag and then you're going to obviously add in the food colouring that way. So I'm just mixing mine in, you see it's starting to turn a different colour. It's really fun this is, I really enjoyed making these this morning. And, um, the sensory texture is, is really great, very soft. And I have I haven't put this on the presentation, but something I experienced this morning was I found a little bit of lemon essence in my cupboard and I'll pop that into one that I did and you're just adding the um, the scent in and it's just obviously, it smells divine and it, you're turning it into obviously scent as well. So if anybody's got anything like that in the, their cupboard um, and they want to add a scent in, you know, vanilla essence, lemon essence, whatever you've got in, you can also do that. So that's mine so far, if you can see. And then you can put it into a tray or a bowl. I'm just going to grab mine in, add it in, and have it as play. So I've done a blue one there. So I've done a pink one this morning and I have added glitter in there. So you can put any you can put anything you wish in there to obviously the children to play with. And then I did put about the jar. This is optional, you don't have to do it. But um I made a sand jar with the, the sand that was left over after the children had played with it and obviously put it in and then it's a little keepsake as well. So I hope everyone has fun making this activity today and don't forget to share your pictures, please. Have fun, everybody. Thank you ever so much. Um, thank you, Tony. And if you do decide to use your hands, um, your century seekers decide to use their hands and you get food colouring on them and they are a little bit worried that it's not coming off with soap, one of the top tips is to rub tough paste, if they can deal with the scent of it, into your hands and wash it off and the food colouring um, pretty much comes off instantly. So just a top tip for you. Um, thank you so 